Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to learn how to design this bottle opener here for our next project. In the first video, we're going to learn how to design it using Autodesk Inventor. In our next video, we're going to learn how to machine it using Autodesk HSM. Let's go ahead and get started. So right up here at File, we're going to go to New, Standard.IPT File, hit Create using Inches. And we're going to start a 2D sketch on our XY plane here. First thing we're going to do is grab our Circle tool. We're going to draw out a circle with a diameter of 1.13 inches. Okay, we're going to drag out another circle with a diameter of 1.41 inches. Okay, we're going to kind of move it over here and we're going to, with our circle tool again, we're going to draw out another circle. This one's going to be 0.67 inches. And once again, another tool, another circle with a diameter of 0.87 inches. And then we're going to grab our line tool here. And we're just going to kind of find this area and we're going to come on over here. Do something like that. And now we need to dimension these lines. So from this point right here to the center point, we want that to be one inch. And the same thing here. And that constraint may already exist, but yep, it does. So just hit escape. All right. And now um, we're going to grab our tangent constraint real quick. And we're going to make this guy tangent to that guy. Same thing here, this line tangent to this line. Okay, we're going to make this line tangent to this line and this line tangent to this circle. Okay, hit escape. All right, now let's um, go ahead now in dimension. Okay, uh, from this dot to our center of our circle, we want that to be 0.3. Same thing on this other side. 0.3. All right, and you notice that our sketch is not constrained, so we still need some more dimensions. So uh, a couple things you may want to check is you definitely want this dot to be horizontal with that one. And now let's, we want this distance from this point to this point to be 3.378. So 3.378 inches. Okay, and this one's still not constrained, so let's grab our equal constraint and make it equal to that one. And now we're good. And then we gotta add one more line here. We're gonna come up here and we're just gonna draw a line across, okay, that there, and we'll dimension it really quick. Okay, and we're good. We're gonna go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to extrude this guy. We're going to click on that circle, that circle, and that guy. And we're going to make it 0.475. Okay. And now we need to put some fillets right here in the corner. So our tool can wrap around them. And we're going to make those fillets 0.5 inches. Apply and cancel. All right, now we need to start making the mouth portion of our bottle opener. So we're going to start a 2D sketch on our surface here. We're going to draw a circle out 1.13 inches. And we're going to go ahead now and finish that sketch. And we're going to extrude in the other way a distance of 0 0.4 inches. Hit OK. All right, now let's go ahead and start a 2D sketch on the surface of our part. We're going to remove some material here. Uh, we're going to project geometry on this guy and that guy and that guy. And let's go with that guy right there. So now we're going to drag out a circle and we're going to 
right there. Okay, make sure your coincident constraint pops up. Same thing here. And then we're going to project some more geometry. I'm going to go ahead and trim some stuff here. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to extrude this center piece. We're going to go the other way, a distance of 0.18. Hit OK. Now we're going to make this hollow pocket here on our bottle opener. So we're going to start a 2D sketch right here. First thing we want to do is project some geometry. So we're going to project that guy. And actually that should be good. So now we're going to grab our circle here and we're going to drag out a circle with a diameter of 1.3 inches. We're going to make another circle on this side with a diameter of 1.86 inches. Okay. And now let's see here, we're going to offset this middle portion here, a distance of 0.1. And now we got to go and clean it up with our trim tool here. So be careful. So make sure you don't click the wrong lines. And that should do it. Now let's just add some dimensions here. So our sketch is fully constrained. Always good practice to make sure everything is fully constrained when necessary. OK, looks good. Now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to extrude that guy into our bottle opener a distance of 0.19 inches. Hit OK. And now let's go ahead and apply some fillets in these corners. Because remember, um, one of the things about being a good engineer is knowing uh, the limitations of your machines. And we can't send a tool into these corners. So we have to apply fillets. OK, so um, right here and right here in this corner, in this corner as well. And we're going to make that a distance of 0.14 and hit apply and cancel. And then we're going to put two more fillets on our end here. We're going to make these 0 0.07, half that. Because once again, we want our tools to roll around some of these corners here. All right, and we're going to hit apply and cancel and we're good. All right, and now we need to make the actual lip portion of our bottle opener, the, the part that's going to be uh, responsible for removing the bottle cap. So we're going to start a 2D sketch right here. And let's go ahead and project some geometry here again. Let's do that. And let's grab our construction line. We're going to make a line right down the middle here. Hit escape, take it off construction line. Okay, we're going to make two lines just Roughly, we're going to estimate a 45 degree angle here. Hit escape. Another line. All right, and now we are going to grab our circle tool and we're going to kind of just drag out a circle about yay big. And then we're going to dimension it from this circle a distance of 0.1 and then hit enter. Okay. And now we need to dimension these lines from our construction line. And we want that angle to be 45 degrees on both sides. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and trim it. Now let's get it fully constrained. And we're good. And now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. Yeah. 
Now we just need to extrude that uh, a, the other way, a distance of just 0.11 inches here. Okay, let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, now we need to make some custom fillets. And the reason we need to do that is because later on we're going to want to apply some chamfers on the side of our um, bottle opener. And in order for us to do that, uh, we can't just add a regular fillet. We need to add some custom uh, fillets. So we're over here on our XZ plane, we're going to start a 2D sketch. Okay, we're going to grab our line tool. Actually, let's project some geometry first right here and right here. And then we're going to grab our line tool and we're going to find that origin. We're going to go up a distance of 0.125. Hit escape, grab our line tool again, and we're going to go out a distance of 0.125. Hit escape and we're going to grab our arc tool now. And we're going to connect that guy again. And we're going to make a radius of 0.125. Okay, and now we're going to center revolve this, so we need to make an axis to revolve this around. So we're going to make, uh, we're going to hit escape, grab our construction button here, and we're going to drag a line somewhere here in the middle. Hit escape, and I want to dimension that just to make sure it's in the right location here. I want to dimension that a distance of 0.435, and we're good. All right, now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Come up to Revolve, and we're going to select this axis to go around here. Hit OK. OK, looks good. Now we need to repeat the same process on this side. So once again, let's start a 2D sketch on our XZ plane. OK, I'm going to project some geometry real quick. I would recommend doing it as well. All right, now let's kind of get our view again here. And we're just going to drag out two lines again from this green dot. 0.125, enter, escape, 0.125, enter, uh, escape. And then we're going to just make our, con our, uh, our radius here with that same distance of 0.125. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape now. I'm going to grab my construction line and it's just going to come down. Uh, doesn't matter the distance. Just make sure it's 90 degrees. It looks good. All right, let's go ahead now and finish our sketch. We are going to revolve around this axis and hit OK. OK, and you're looking, hey, Mr. Florida, that looks kind of funny. And you're right. So the next thing we need to do now is remove that excess material. So we're going to start a 2D sketch on this surface. We're going to project the geometry here, here, finish our sketch, extrude, and we're going to go click on our projected geometry, and we're going to go the other way. And we'll just go a distance of like, I don't know, 0 0.2. That should be enough to do it. And we'll hit OK. And it looks good. We're not quite done with our custom features yet. We still need to make this chamfer right here. And to do that, we're going to start a 2D sketch right here in the front of our part. Let's rotate it over here. All right. And we're going to uh, grab our line tool. And we're going to drag out a, a line here. A distance of 0.1 and then we're going to drag a line perpendicular to that down 0.1 and then we're going to connect our line here so we have sort of a right triangle okay go ahead and hit escape and then we're going to make a construction line because we're going to revolve this and we're going to make a construction line just right here in the middle perpendicular all right we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude i'm sorry not extrude revolve and we're going to cut around that axis right there hit OK all right looks pretty good now we just need to add a couple more fillets here because remember our our 
our end mill, as it comes in here, it will not be able to get this corner. So we need to apply a couple features here. So I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to add a 0 0.02 fillet around this little edge right here. Same thing on that side. Apply. And then we're going to do a 0 0.0, excuse me, a 0.14 fillet. Right there, right there, apply and cancel. All right. And finally, the last thing we need to do is to add chamfers along these edges and make that chamfers a distance of 0 0.02. Same on that side. Okay, and this outer diameter and this inner diameter. We're also going to put one along that edge and our the inside of our pocket and we're going to flip our part over and we're going to put one here and here and hit apply and cancel okay and the last thing we want to do is make sure we give our part a material so make sure you select aluminum 6061 and i'm going to give it sort of a cool uh Let's see here. Uh, you can go with aluminum polish is pretty good or um, polished blacks. Pretty cool. OK, and that should do it. Once you're finished, make sure to save your work and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.